Hey, welcome to Dan's ADV. I'm gonna do a little segment called Shop Time. I'm gonna show you a quick trick to modify a Harbor Freight bead breaker to work better for motorcycle tires. So if you're interested in that, stick around and stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this is just your standard Harbor Freight bead breaker. You've probably seen them. They have a metal surface here. They do not come with blocks that are covered in felt or anything like that. Apparently, they expect you to just set the tire down and break the bead. The problem is, as you may know, motorcycle tires are going to have a rotor. If it's a front tire, probably two rotors, a sprocket uh, sticking out. And so you, if you just set that down on that metal, you're going to put a lot of torque on those components that are not made to have those kind of forces or you're gonna scratch your rims and or you're gonna scratch your rims. So the obvious solution that everybody has is to just put some blocks. Uh, if you put some blocks up, now you've got clearance for your rotors or whatever. But what I think the flaw in this design is, is once you've put the blocks up and raised your tire, now if you have a sport bike tire or a big fat rear tire, you no longer have enough clearance. Even though there's four settings here, for this breaker arm, you no longer have enough clearance to get up over the top of the tire. At least I, that was my experience. So I started looking at what could I do to make this distance greater. And I looked at maybe cutting this in half, welding a new piece on, then I'd have to also weld these, these support arms. Um, I was trying to do it as quick and easy as possible, but the more I looked at this and thought about it, I think I came up with a pretty easy solution that you may want to try. Um, Disclaimer, you'll have to uh, do this at your own risk if you do this. I'm not advising that you do this. I'm just explaining what I did. Uh, I drilled at a different hole. So the original mounting hole for this breaker arm is up here, which is why you can't get far enough. So rather than get this distance greater, I got this distance shorter. To do that, I just drilled two holes, one on each side of the arm, put a bolt through, and now, as you can see, I've got plenty of clearance over a rear tire even though it's uh, supported well with nothing underneath. So and then I went ahead and permanently mounted it to this board. Normally I would have this on the ground, but I just have it up here for demonstration purposes. So hopefully that helps you um, or you find it interesting. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.